I'm Dave Mercer. I'm Matt Pangrak. Welcome to the call, a weekly sport fishing debate show. And I'm going to leave our whole, uh, our whole concept really. I'm just, we're going to switch it to this or that panger. Would Thanks you rather that. win the Bassmaster Classic or catch the world record bass? I got to think about this when you go first. Oh, what do you mean you got to think about it? Well, you sprung this one on me. This is a tough one. Win the Bassmaster Classic, catch the world record bass. Initially, you, I, I think I go world record. Because oh, see, initially I go Bassmaster I'm like, Classic. I agree, but because initially I'm like, there's been how many world record holders? And there's well, a new Bassmaster Classic champion every year. Right. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go Bassmaster Classic. It's a legitimate win. It's a legit, it's a huge event, amount of promotion, the amount of, for the rest of your life, you're a Bassmaster Classic champion. I mean, a lot of, it, it goes in your obit, obituary. Ob, did I say that right? The thing they write about you when you pass away, your obituary, obituary. it goes in there. Um, I've seen a lot of you know i've never seen somebody be like he is the world record holder of this i'm all in for bassmaster classic i mean it is a this is gonna be horrible because we're gonna agree again panger i mean i we're supposed to disagree i mean this is not the concept of this show but i'm all in the bassmaster classic because you have tested yourself number one to qualify and very few people on this planet have ever qualified for that event. Number two, you're right. competing against the best anglers in the world at that event. At that time, it's all publicized. Every eyeball in the world is on you and everything is legit. Now, when you catch the world record, your life becomes hell. That is my theory. If you catch a bass world record, a musky world record, a trout world record, every one of those folks goes nuts within a few years just because the moment you catch a record everybody else in the planet feels it's their job to show how illegitimate that record is and i think you're when you win a bassmaster classic it is part of your name when you catch a world record boy you are going to be defending that for the rest of your life okay that's fair but i think you're a victim of your environment maybe i think that the professional fishing world the Bassmaster classic world is small if you're in it yes you are situationally revered and, and well known for it but the world record world there's millions and millions and millions of people who cast for bass that have no desire inclination anything to win the Bassmaster Classic. They don't even know what the Bassmaster Classic is, but they know what a bass is in Japan, in South Africa, in Canada, in America. I think because there hasn't been a largemouth bass world record craze here like there was back in the 90s when you had Bob Krupe with the crayfish and you had Dottie and you had Dottie. Dixon and, and, and all of this crazy stuff that was going around. I mean, you look at the publicity that that got when, uh, when uh, Manubu caught the Biwa record that yeah. was in international news and his life does not appear to be hell. He, his legitimacy of his doesn't, doesn't seem to be questioned. I don't think there's anything. They didn't give him the that. record though. Well, they didn't even give him the he record. Tied. No, that's because that, that's a, that's a, uh, he tied cause he was so close with it, but he tied there. It's him and George W. Perry. Correct. Yeah, but well, because you, you're supposed to beat it by three ounces, which is right. ridiculous. Because but my I mean, theory dude, I know is, George W. Perry growing up. I mean, that's that dude was famous for that. Yeah. Regardless of, I just it think was. you're living in a bubble by saying maybe, maybe. I mean, but here's the difference too. Are you nobody can take that away from you? Literally, could catch the world record bass, and a week later, some dude would catch one a pound bigger. It's the same thing as a classic. No, you're the Bassmaster Classic champion At for one the rest point, of your you, life. Yeah, but you were a world record holder for the rest of your life. Hey, I had the world record bass. What happened to it? Who's got it now? Well, there's about 
15 people who have it if you're talking about mean mouths down in Texas. But if you're talking about the large mouth, that's a different I know, story. I think this is one of those questions that like it all depends on the day because like the more I think about it, the more I'm like, you know, it, to catch the biggest bass in history. But I feel like you catch the biggest bass in history and you're forever going to be defending it. Just like Namubu. I don't I've think heard so. that it's, fish it's was a cut caught and dry on a deal. crappie, and it, there's all sorts of stuff that circles around it. Look at the dude who just caught the 10-pounder on you. Uh-huh. Pretty cut and dry there. Did yeah. They tried, did everything right, zero questions about it. I think if you do think sketchy, there might be some questions around it. I think if you, you know, used it on a game fish or something or switch lakes with it or something, I think, I think as long as you everything's above board you do everything right you're always going to have your haters you're going to have haters in the Bassmaster classic you got guys who've won the Bassmaster classic and say oh yeah, yeah well right. you you know what that guy did back in 1986 he had his uncle out practicing for him and he put him on those fish with the lizard or hey you know how he figured out about those fish in the pond he he stocked that pond back there for that that's it it's anything that is a pinnacle achievement that other people want. They want to make themselves feel better by trying to rationalize why it was someone else and not them. And their minds go to, he cheated. He did it instead of, Hey, that guy's better than me. And he kicked my ass at. You're right. If the question is growing up, which I would rather win the Bassmaster classic or catch the world record bass in the environment that I grew up in and have lived in, I would say Bassmaster classic. If you take the extenuating circumstances out of it, it is 100% undeniably a 22 pound, I guess what, seven ounce largemouth bass to beat the four ounces and not be in a tie. We've changed. It me. was I, feverish, I, I, feverish around Dottie and that oh. scene out in Southern California. You had the LA Times, you had International, you had the New York Times, you had major magazines, you had television, you had all of that. For the Bassmaster Classic, all that stuff, yeah, they might have some people in for a day or two, but then it dies down and it's only relevant in that small circle. You changed my mind. I want. I'm, I'm no longer want to win the Bassmaster Classic. I'm all in. I'm going to you catch the world. To. It just... uh, I mean, I want to, but I feel like, yeah, you're right. People are jerks. That's all that this segment has proved. I mean, whether you win the Bassmaster Classic or catch the world record, somebody's going to trash talk you about it. So, um, I, and I also think this is, you're right. It's situational, depending on the circles you hang with. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, we spend a lot of time around tournament anglers. World record circles way bigger. You know why? Because it encompasses the world. It's earth. The circle is the earth, Dave, except for continents that they don't exist in, which would be like Antarctica. Ah, I mean, they don't exist in Australia. And we have an Australian Bassmaster Classic qualifier this year. So, you know what's weird is they have big bass in Hawaii. Are they big? I didn't think yeah, they were they have big. Quality bass in Hawaii, and they have smallmouth too. I didn't know. I thought they were just small, but no, you wow. can go to Hawaii and go on a guided trip for bass. Just you ask Maddie Wong. Uh, yeah, I will. I will. Trust me. I'll pull the Maddie Wong card. Not in Alaska, though. No bass in Alaska, which also surprised me because I figured Southern Alaska might have some some fishery like on the Kenai Peninsula down there where bass would survive because they survive in northern Michigan and Maine all over up in Canada and up in that tundra but not in Alaska yeah but when you get to those trout salmon fishery type parts of the world they hate bass I mean speaking of whether people care about a record like literally like you can read articles about like how bass is the devil (laughs) and they're going to destroy everything like they wants you to keep and kill anything so at one time maybe there was bass but yeah. they're i don't think there was gone. fun fact chad griffin from alaska elite series champion wow yeah Top hawaii water. and alaska on the elite series yeah wow this one got off the rails but let us know which you would rather <laughs> win the Bassmaster classic or catch the world record bass